know, right? We're mm -hmm. all super cultured, sure, right? Sure. That's us. Now, the weird part is that it is Curtis's birthday. Happy birthday to me. And Curtis, are you a wine taster? No, I'm not even a wine drinker. <laughs> So it's a little odd that it just worked out that we're here for on Curtis's birthday, but we're going to make it up to him. And where, what are we going for dinner? Now, to keep in mind, I have said, I will take you anywhere for dinner. <laughs> Curtis, what have you chosen? Uh, either McDonald's or getting KFC to bring back. Because that's like a cheat day. Curtis is not my fancy man. <laughs> no. Pepsi over wine any day. Too funny. So Debbie, we're at Jailor, and why are we at Jailor over all of the other wineries that are here? Well, I tease that Curtis is not my fancy man, but I'm not really a fancy girl. And I love Jailor um, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's my favorite red wine. My kids all know and family all knows if someone's going to pick me up a bottle of wine, they know that's a go-to. So yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Nice. Yeah. So Debbie, what are you thinking? A nice cheese plate, nuts and fruit. Huh? And our poor Jessica is knowledgeable and yeah, we're learning. It's, it's interesting. Cool. So Debbie, we are now cultured people. Oh, uh, we, we're highfalutin. Uh, we went to our first wine tasting. And I don't even like wine. Curtis found a red wine that he actually likes, yeah. which is nice. And we, and we bought some. We it, was did. Good. it was a wonderful experience, actually. It was nice. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely there's, worth Jaylor. Jaylor by definitely us. worth coming uh, to Jaylor here in Paso Robles. Um, yeah, and we had Jessica as the server, and she was very knowledgeable and very helpful. And the hostess lady was incredibly knowledgeable too. Yeah, it was awesome. It was we good. Had a great time. And heard a strike red wine. Yeah, wine tasting on my birthday. Weird. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> so Curtis, you could have went for steak seafood which you're not big on a big fancy meal we could have went anywhere uh -huh. and where are we kfc but well, that's different though because i would normally go to mcdonald's so kfc is like an upgrade <laughs> it's high end compared to mcdonald's <laughs> oh that's so sad <laughs> but this is a good meal it's got all the essential food groups in it well i'm glad you're happy with your your yes. birthday meal yes. oh just for Fine Pepsi. Yeah. Fine Pepsi. Just for a footnote, when my birthday comes, Pepsi. I would like to be taken out for a good steak. Oh, okay. We can do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Today is a down day, which is awesome. So I get to clean the dog beds. They're all vacuumed and baking in the sun. And I need to clean our front doormat because it is disgustingly dirty. Curtis razzes me all the time about keeping my steam cleaner in the trailer, but I gotta tell you, on days like this, I so appreciate having it with me. It's awesome. All right, Mr. Verboom, we didn't really say anything, but- uh, Say what? Our nerves have been a little fried the last two days. How come? Yeah, True Blue had a pretty good ping, more like a knock, we were really worried. And a check engine light. Uh, I read the code, it says it's part of it's the ECM learning side of things, so it had a fault trigger in there. But it also, when you read the whole deal on it, it's, it can be also caused from bad fuel. The engine management system is trying to basically compensate for bad fuel. So we don't know what happened where we got bad fuel, but more likely we did. But we also use a really high quality conditioner. Arch oil. Arch oil, and we put the power boost double amount that you normally do in there trying to combat it in case we had bad fuel. We also, California has this renewable fuel and that is new. It's like synthetic oil once at one time and a lot of controversy on it. And it's pretty much the only thing available besides lower grade diesel now in California. So it didn't like it or we got bad fuel. We're not sure, but we're on renewable, which it has a higher um, what is it? Cetane. Cetane, which is like an octane for diesel. And then with the arch oil, adds that too. We pulled in here, we just did a fairly good climb coming up to the coast. We pulled into here, and that ping and knock is gone. So, touch wood. 
Hopefully that's all it was. So we drove from Paso Robles to Cambria, which is about how far? Uh, half hour, 40 minutes, half hour. Okay. But it's a pretty good climb up and then a pretty good descent down. So we were both like, oh, there's no pinging when we stopped. Yeah, so it sounds like it's all it is. So we were very hopeful. Gosh, I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, well, let's go to her San Simeon and enjoy the beautiful sunshiny weather. It's in the 20s today. Nice. It's beautiful. It is very nice. All right, Gabby, what in the world are you doing with a pair of scissors? Cutting the forest grass that is around our campsite. Yeah, I don't think they mowed for a while. Like you can't even sit at the table. The grass goes up past the bench. <laughs> so Debbie's out here with some scissors. I'm not a princess. I don't expect it to be perfect, but like that's ridiculous. The mat does not lay down because there's so much grass, and we put the mat down because there's too much too grass. grass. To use the Normally, you don't site. use the mat on a grass Never site. On grass. But yeah, so we are here at San Simeon. And normally this thing is meticulously maintained, but maybe in the slow season, not so much. But uh, we have a nice site. It's pretty wide. We're set up to the left, which is odd, but that way we can get the truck parked beside us. Nice, beautiful area right on the ocean. So we'll show you that in a bit. Okay, Debbie, what did you learn about the elephant seals? So it's pretty interesting. December to March is birthing and breeding. So in December, the adult males begin to arrive and fight for dominance. And if you look at the picture, like the blood on them is just crazy. And so like this would be a male with all the scarring. Okay. And then the pregnant females give birth, the pups weigh between 60 to 80 pounds at birth, and they will quadruple their weight in less than a month. Like that's, that's astounding. I do that all the time. <laughs> okay, I can probably do that too. <laughs> Maybe not so astounding, but they don't have McDonald's. Oh, that's right. Um, the pups are born, and at six weeks of age, their black fur coat is replaced with a silver coat. They come to shore for birthing and breeding, and then they come to shore April to August for molting, and then September to November, the fall follow, and March to April, the weaned pups are weaned, and then they go back to the ocean. Very cool. Yeah, and they learn to swim and all that here. So peak of the birthing is January, so we should see some babies. Yeah, there should be lots of babies. Nice, let's go. So there's a baby down there. The males, the males will be fighting for dominance, for breeding, right? Yeah. All right, Debbie, I often do this. Where are we? We are at... Her San Simeon Castle, and we just did the tour. And which tour was it? The Grand Room. Grand Room. Uh, the Grand tour rooms. went really, really fast, probably faster than what you would want, but it was very, very good. It was amazing. It was over 70 minutes long, but it was, I loved it. William Hurst built this um, castle, and it's beyond elaborate mm. uh, it was he had done a tour of Europe and and such when he was a young boy and it left an impression upon him and so there's major European influence of the castle the, the architecture and it's like a hodgepodge of everything yeah, some of the rooms pleasant. have like everything in it um, but it comes together very well it does but it's really really cool and the architecture is the very first licensed architecture woman architecture in california we learned about her in petaluma mm -hmm. and at the historical district there she had done quite a bit of the architecture and this was his her pet project with her 503rd yeah they were building it for 28 years together 28 and never years. finished it but they make it very clear that it was never about the finished project 
it was always about yeah. the creativity of the project during the project. And they so there was really part, no... Tear it down? Yeah. Redo it? Yeah. Like he it. ended up being $127 million in debt. And when you learn his history of all the things that he would change his mind on, no wonder he was in major debt. And that was in the 1930s. Or, mm -hmm. well, it started in 1919. Yeah. The project started. But beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and a really, really well-run tour. Oh, it is. And we're talking to that one guy, he said that this thing, a conservative estimate, would be valued now of between seven hundred million and a billion, and he it's says really that's great. probably not even close to what yeah. its value is. Definitely so much stuff. Yeah. It was only, well, not only. It was thirty dollars per person for the tour. But well worth it. Extremely yeah. informative, and you get to see a lot of stuff. And but the it's thing different. is, is there's how many different tours? Multiple tours. Yeah. Multiple tours. And we only went on the one that they say, if you had never been, this is the way to start. Yeah. It's an amazing place. No, this this is one of our favorite places. It was last yeah. year, but we never got to the castle last year. And just down the road is Cambria, which we haven't, we mm -hmm. just kind of stopped to get propane and didn't get to tour around a lot. But it looks like a really great yeah. little place to go and tour as well. So this is a fantastic area to come stay and to come play tourist. Very much so. Oh, it's very cool. Carmel by the sea, California. Listen to the power of those waves. Unbelievable. So, Debbie, show us your beach shoes because you're prepared to come to the beach. You don't look like much of a beach shoe. I am Canadian. There you go. You are. You forgot your other boots, your other shoes. My other shoes. My little runners. We're just looking up here. We've got Pebble Beach over there, the golfers, and this amazing volleyball court here. Beautiful area. Yeah, it is. Wonderful homes. We're going to go to the Art District and check that out. Look careful. Look up there. There's a whale. Oh, right, sorry, <laughs> Debbie. It's a boat, you said. Debbie called it a whale. She looked this whale. It looked, it looked like a whale. It looked like a whale in the swell of those of the waves. Whale with a motor. But she has a whale picture on his boat. <laughs> so we are walking around Carmel by the Sea, all of this art gallery district. And there's like something like over a hundred art galleries in this little town. And it is what, Debbie? It's cool. This is a cool place to come hang out. There's restaurants and there's the beach and there's art galleries, tons of clothing stores, jewelry stores, but just the whole vibe of it is just fun. Our daughter being the artist, she would um, be here for days looking yeah. at the artwork. Absolutely. So Debbie, where are we? Moral Bay. Is it warm? storm coming in and we feel it don't we absolutely but this is a neat state park it has a, a golf course a museum a marina and a campground, a campground with pull through sites which pretty is sweet. pretty rare for a state park Hook, hookups very nice electric yeah. from water yeah, not bad at all eh no wish the weather was nicer though i do too it's cold it is all right let's go for a walk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 